1854, Paris. This 14 years old boy decided to move to Paris from his hometown, Eura. He made 249 mile journey by foot, picking up odd jobs along the way. Once he got to Paris, he became an assistant ladyer for prominent households. Because of his well-established reputation, Napoleon III appointed this young man as a ladyer to his wife. Through this experience, he gained advanced knowledge of what people wanted in quality luggage. In 1854, at the age of 43, he opened his first luggage store in Paris. He created one of the most luxurious brands in the world that we call Louis Vuitton, Alvi. 1962, U.S. A man decided to travel across Japan after completing his business school. In Japan, he came in contact with Japanese shoemaker. As a former athlete, he agreed to ship their shoes to the U.S. and on their request, he quickly registered a new company named Blue Ribbon Sports. At first, he took an order of 200 shoes and stored in his father's basement. He sells the shoes from the back of his car. In 1971, Blue Ribbon Sports and Japanese company ended the contract. And this man launched its own footwear with a new logo and a new name called Nike. 1938, Korea. A man started his grocery store. The business thrived and he moved the headquarter to Seoul. But at that time, the war broke out, so he forced to leave from there. After that, he started sugar refinery and woolen mill under the parent company. The company diversified into many different areas like retail, securities, insurance. In 1960, the company entered into electronics industry and the South Korean president banned foreign companies from selling their product in the country until 1979. This time period gave this man 18 years to improve their products and become one of the biggest electronics providers in the world with the name Samsung. 1984, California At Stanford's computer science lab, the man named Leonard was the manager, and his wife Sandy managed computers at the Graduate School of Business. To communicate with his wife, Leonard devised a way to connect the two local area networks over 500 yards across campus. In 1984, they mortgaged their house, ran up credit cards, deferred their salaries, and had their friends working for them so they could start a company to sell this inter-networking technology. This was the first company to commercially provide a multi-protocol router named Cisco shortened for San Francisco. 1937, Japan A man named Sakichi invented automatic loom to efficiently manufacture textiles. The Japanese government encouraged him to develop automobile a few years later. So his son, Kichiro traveled to Europe and the US to investigate automobile production. After returning, Kichiro established an automobile department within textile works and produced his first Type A engine in 1934. A year later, they were selling their first Model A1 passenger car and G1 truck. This motor company split off from textile works in 1937 and the new brand was born, named Toyota. 1940. Thank you. Thank you so much.